In terms of failures, there's tests that could fail. For example, like the DAO, it was a big experiment which ended up in failure. They tried to test out smart contracts where it's still an early stage and they tested it out with $150 million. So that wasn't a good idea, but I mean, it was done and at least they managed to recover the money. And even the failure of blockchain isn't as bad as failure in the banking system. For example, when SWIFT failed and they had a heist, they still haven't recovered the money from the SWIFT hack, whereas the DAO hack got recovered within two months. So even the biggest failure of blockchain isn't as bad as real life failures. If it's looking at threats, in the future there will be threats. So for example, one of the topics coming up today is quantum cryptology, and that will be one threat. But a way to stop that from happening is to create quantum blockchains, where there are know some people already working on quantum blockchains. So it shouldn't be that big of a threat, maybe a short term one. But thinking of that again against the existing infrastructures and systems in place, then quantum computing is a bigger threat to existing infrastructures on the internet versus blockchain. So blockchain is still better anyway, regardless whether the threat is quantum or not. And then there's other threats. So there's government regulations. How would the governments regulate blockchain technology? One more is the lack of skills. So there's not a lot of skills within the ecosystem and we need a lot of skilled people to be able to develop platforms. There's a lot of hype and we need more skills.